Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Watch TV Man, and today we have a reaction video. Today we are reacting to Abba and Preach's latest video. It is entitled Thank You Fresh and Fit demonetized on twitter now before we get into it please do me a favor do never forget to share like and subscribe it really helps out with the channel let me know that you are rocking with the content also i am streaming tonight on twitch so follow me on twitch at twitch.tv slash watts underscore tv 94 a link to it will be in the description down below i am streaming tonight at 6 45 p.m eastern standard time around that time just make sure y'all pop by around 6 45 eastern standard time i'm streaming on twitch we are streaming our first uh, spooky game if you will we're gonna kick it off with castlevania symphony of the night and yeah make sure y'all pull up anyway let's get into this video fresh fit demonetized on twitter <laughs> yeah yeah so that one i saw that so, <laughs> so just, i feel like every time again <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. as expected x demonetized me for telling you the truth on topics others would never touch same way I prefer to touch men over women. <laughs> to continue supporting my cock, consider subscribing to my ex. I respond to all answers yeah, 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 from the yeah, 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 yeah. boys and all subscriber DMs questions every day. <laughs> Bro, he ain't say any of that. That's so he might as well have though. He he might as well have because at the end of the day, we all know Myron is a little. Yeah, 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 yeah just saying i just this man literally said that that vagina was gross like we know he a little sus okay we we know this at this point first of all and before we even get back into it do you know how crazy you have to be in order to get demonetized on x like sometimes i wonder like is myron just like is he actively trying to do this is he actively trying to get banned everywhere because this is an accomplishment man if you get banned on x you have been saying a lot of crazy crap and we all know that myron indeed has been saying a lot of crazy racist crap because if we're being honest here x is a goddamn cesspool as soon as elon musk took over there has been nothing but racism bigotry lies pornography literally all throughout the app like, I cannot even open X while I am out in public because nine times out of ten, I'm going to see some sort of, like, pornography on my phone. But, yeah, Myron has been wilding out. He's been talking about the Jewish community, especially black people. He's been going off saying a whole bunch of racist crap about black black people. We've talked about this at nauseum at this point. We know he's racist. But, yeah, that's what you get. It's not the truth. It is not the truth. You literally only talk about your feelings and how you feel on X. And it just so happens that your feelings do not align with a lot of advertisers. So therefore, you have been, yet again, demonetized. How does it feel that nobody wants you? How, how does it feel that no one wants to give money to you? How, how does that feel? And this goes back to the conversation about accountability and how these red pillars refuse to take accountability. Like you say all this crap on these platforms, and but you want to be surprised when your monetization gets taken away from you because your views do not necessarily align with advertisers. Like, yeah, that's the price you pay, stupid. This is great value and a way to get direct access to my bedroom if you're a boy <laughs> who wants to be boys being, being boys. boys. You know what? Actually, you know we need to take, take a moment. D today's video is going to be very different. Before we go and just- No, it's not. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. I actually need to thank Fresh and Fit. Not even joking. Because I decided to take some time out of my day and go on our YouTube channel mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and look up all the Fresh and Fit videos. You, you, look, you looked up all the videos? Yes. Okay, so we have like a thousand plus. I think we're at almost eleven hundred right now. There's about fifty five of them that related to Fresh and Fit specifically. Yeah. yeah, that is you know a little under five six percent. Yeah, I decided to add it all up, and it dawned on me that we made over a million dollars laughing at these niggas' this downfall. Yes. God. Over a million dollars laughing at Fresh and Fit is insane. Oh my gosh. Wow. For 50 something videos, that is a nice piece of change. A million dollars? That is 500,000 between the two of them. Just by talking about Fresh and Fit. And this doesn't even include their other videos because their other videos also 
get a crap ton of views. They have a million views on videos where they're not talking about Fresh and Fit. That's why I don't understand this rhetoric that Fresh and Fit is constantly spewing when they say, oh, they need to talk about us to make money, blah, 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 bro. 50 something out of what a thousand videos that, that they posted and only 50 of them are about you if they never talk about you ever again they'll be fine i owe fresh and fit a thank you too <laughs> this i say they are the gift that keeps on giving for a reason because yeah i make money off of my fresh and fit videos i make money off my other videos too but not as much as fresh and fit so yeah i guess i owe them some thanks as well <laughs> and i'm grateful of course because i bought my mom a condo with that money damn that's uh, dope so whenever i go to visit her in the condo that i bought her with my fresh and fit money i'm always just like again <laughs> you fucking idiot she doesn't understand it, but I just start yelling coconuts and Barbados in the house the whole okay, time. She was and she's confused, you know? Picking coconuts and Barbados. Yeah. She was and at one point she thought I was retarded, but I was like, no, the retard's over there. But thanks to him, you get to live good. Yeah. So it's just one of those things where, you know, we recommend you guys always to practice gratefulness in your life. And we're grateful for these niggas' downfall. That's all I want to say. <clears throat> wow. It's not a different video. That's literally. That's different though, because I'm not normally grateful. Yes, you are. Normally, I'm just flaming them and laughing. That's true. But now I'm actually like, yo, I'm so glad you niggas exist. Uh huh. Yeah, sure. You know, because I get to enjoy watching you tumble down this mountain, and I get to think to myself, damn, is this mountain really hot, or do these niggas just know how to fall for a long time? <laughs> Both. Which one is it? Both, bro. <laughs> Which one is it? Both. Both of them. Yes. It's like the chicken both. and the egg. Is it the mountain or the tumble? It, it's, it's both of them. Both of them. Both of them. B O F F F M. B O F F M. The thing that happened is that with the with the chicken, the chicken and the egg, what what came first is like, yeah, chicken came after. Yeah. Eggs came first, but not necessarily from the chicken. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Wow. All I have to say. Okay, hold on, uh, hold on. What came first? The coconuts or barbecues? <laughs> <laughs> Coconuts came first. The coconuts for oh, sure no, came first. Coconuts came first. Coconuts. Barbados came second. Gotcha. Well, okay. That being said, all right. Let's but yeah, uh, demonetized on Twitter. Listen, there's no profound thing to say. What what can we if, say that we haven't you, said? If you are demonetized on Twitter, <laughs> which is the most, which is the most flagrant to be demonetized on, I go on Twitter and watch the dudes get they get their balls chopped off. Bro, that's that's what I'm saying. You can literally post anything on Twitter with probably no repercussions. I mean, unless you're monetized. So the fact that he got demonetized is actually, like I said, that is an accomplishment. Seriously. And then there's an ad right after. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah that I've, seen people, I've seen death of people yeah. on Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you get demonetized from there, that's a message. So nice little update. But now much. we can get to the rest. I'm, I'm not. I'm not even gonna call it winning. I'm gonna call it life. I mean, what life look like? Ooh, t speak on that. Speak on it's that. Not, it's not winning. It's just that sometimes it takes everything to make a world, right? Sometimes you're gonna be, you're gonna have people that are gonna tumble. Okay. And people, some people are gonna keep on walking. Okay. You know, it's just life. It's not even winning. Okay. Winning at what? What's the competition? I don't know. They, the only competition is a competition that they created. You understand what I'm saying? They said they would lap us. Lap us to what? I don't know. Facts. Lap us in what? I don't know. Well, that surely didn't happen. Right, right, right. It's just life. It's not a competition. Right. It's life. Right. It's a circle of life. Yeah. Fuck around and find out. Yeah. Yeah. You get demonetized. <laughs> The circle of life. Oh, hey, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> yo. Preach might need to See, record that. Gratefulness. Thank you for you know, your downfall. <laughs> Making Preach tap into his musical juices. It's just, it's just circle of life. Bro. Okay. Nice. Are you, are you saying the boys are inspiring the boys? Yes. It's just yeah. boys being boys. It's That's boys life. Being boys. That's just life. Boys being boys, okay. bro. That's what it okay. is. Okay. It's what it is, ho. Okay. What's up? Hey, man, we grateful. I'm telling you, today we practicing gratefulness. Okay. Got a little monetizing in my cup. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what the fuck was that? I said, what it is, ho? What's up? <laughs> Got a little bit of time to get my cup. <laughs> okay, okay, I didn't catch that. That was good, though. That, oh, that okay. Was a Hilarious. That was a little bad, man. A little bad. <laughs> but you guys have to understand, we're at a point now, there's no... No, there's nothing insightful to say about this. There's none. Like, I'll be honest with you. I've been milking it for the last 30 videos. Fuck yeah. You facts. 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 Look. 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 Even I will say this about my Fresh and Fit videos, right? When I make videos on them, it is, yes, it is indeed hard to be insightful because we know who they are at this point. It is very hard. The only, one of the only reasons why as to why I make so many videos on them in general is just because you guys like it. Like, I'm literally feeding my fan base. You guys like it. I am getting a following from it. And my following that is coming on board are starting to look at my older videos now as well. Like, I have analytics to prove it. So, yeah, that's that's literally the main reason. So basically, yeah, I've been essentially I feel like a lot of us content creators have been milking it just because we know that people are going to view these videos because collectively we all can't stand these niggas <laughs> like co collectively we do not like them. So you viewers want to see, they want to hear what is the latest on these two go on these two goof troops, right? Um, because they're constantly saying something stupid. Like, usually, a lot of the times that I make a video on them, right, it's going to be common sense. It's going to be common sense. Like, obviously, Myron and maybe even Walter, I don't know, Sneeko, everybody, everybody is anti-Semitic, right? We we know this. That is one. We know they're anti-Semitic. They're misogynistic. We We know this. We have talked about this again and again and again. I constantly say they are the gift that keeps on giving because they constantly involve themselves in dumb shit. like if it's not about the the castle club drama with uh, a pdf file you know being uh, a general or whatever it's scamming their audience for you know for a, a yacht party even though it was a, a fairy and then you constantly have like myron joining these white spaces where he is not welcome they constantly call him the n-word but he wants to be white so bad that he keeps inserting himself into these whites only spaces like it's funny at this point we're just laughing at them there's nothing insightful about it we're just laughing at them originally i said this in my q a video originally i covered the red pill to offer the public a different perspective right because i feel like so many young men were watching their content and there are more young men out there that can relate to me over fresh and fit i feel like their just view on life and women is just so screwed up because of where they live they compare every girl to a miami 304 when most women out here do not act like them the majority of women do not act like the girls that they bring on to their podcast like i always wanted to provide a different perspective but i'm not gonna lie at this point i'm just feeding my fan base and i'm laughing at them and it's good content it's funny like it's funny at this point if i'm just being transparent been having a good laugh this is what this is for we just laughing yeah. at them okay there's no sense in being like oh he doesn't like me. we've been knowing this nigga don't like black people even don't like himself even Derek we've been knowing this guy's a trick yeah. we've been knowing they mm. frauds we've been knowing this whole thing's a lie there's nothing to really say anymore so now all we can do is just laugh, laugh. every time they fumble and they stumble we just gotta laugh that's it it's like some people i know there's some people out there that are jealous of you because you've, you've been you've been doing what you do in the last uh, past 30 videos you know Derek chauvin is probably in jail being like shit even money was not that hard on that neck and look what i got for it <laughs> Back, 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 back. You you just you just yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, <laughs> that's crazy. That is Derek crazy. Derek Chauvin's probably hitting me up right now, like yo, how do you put, put your knee on these niggas' <laughs> neck and get away with it? <laughs> Some things, you know, the game isn't taught. It's earned. Is that what the line is? No, I don't know what the fucking line is. I don't know. I want, I don't to, I want to sound cool. Yeah. I want to sound cool. And I don't even know. I don't, what, I, don't, I, don't cool. I don't even know what you're referring about. I don't. Like I what do. game? Oh oh. The game's to be bought, not sold. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. I feel man. like that's the line. The game must be sold, not told. The essence of the sagey piece of advice is that if you have found an unusual way of getting by that works for you, particularly if it is illegal or immoral, you should just keep a low profile and not tell anyone else about it. The phrase is known as the title of an album by rapper Snoop Dogg. The game must be sold, not told. Mm. 
And then in his, in his album, he, he tells about it. But think about this. <laughs> think about this. Coconuts and Barbados. That being said, see, if these guys were the guys behind the scenes, they would have not had no problems. <coughs> and if you think about it. Oh, the okay. Got you, got you, got you, got you, got you, got you. I see. I understand what he's saying. Understood. Got you. This whole thing. The problem with these red pillars is that they try to go too mainstream, mm-hmm. right? And they didn't want to be smart about this shit. Kind of like what Snoop was saying, if you're doing illegal stuff, you you're not supposed to be key. bragging about it too right. openly because then the feds are going to take an interest, right? These niggas didn't know what they was doing. They was just yapping it up, not really caring for their platform, not trying to be diplomatic, and it cost them everything. Yep. That's what it means. So even though I didn't intend to sound this intellectual and this smart, I'm going to pretend like I was. You feel me? <laughs> The game is to be sold, not, not told. told. You did? Gotcha. Makes sense. <laughs> That's all. I just wanted to do a little quick little update. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to my mom. Shout out to her crib. Walking in through. I'm going to put some fresh and fit memorabilia all over the wall. Say rest in peace to the goofballs. Anything else? <laughs> You're the one I wanted in that video. I even... Absolutely. I'll be honest with you. Priest didn't want to do the last 30 at one. I, I've, been, I've been dragging it through it. But... You do accept the fresh and fit checks, though. Hell yeah. You do accept the fresh and fit. Exactly. <laughs> so you can be as reluctant as you want, but you will take that money. It's right. There's nothing else to talk about. It's oh, like, I know. The same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Uh-huh. But it's uh, the, like, <laughs> then again, you know what I mean? It's like money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. And, and that's the truth. Yes, but that's it, the truth. Dead ass. Dead ass. We'll, yeah, we'll talk about that, that in a second. Are, it's, 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 this is WWE. You have to understand what it is. It's, it's WWE. It's entertainment. Yep. Whenever you watch WWE, it's the same okay. shit over and over again that is exactly since cool. the past 30 years. Yep. It's been the same plots, the same things, the same gimmicks and whatever, whatnot. Why do they keep doing it? Because people are watching mm-hmm. and money. Mm-hmm. That's, that's it. It's entertainment. Same thing as us. We're going to make entertainment with that. We make entertainment. That's all it is. And we get paid for it. So... That's why we do it. But but that's all forms of insightful lessons in life. If you think about how humans have learned their most valuable lessons, either through the Bible, either through stories that are disseminated generation to generation, a lot of those stories involved fluff. A lot of those stories involved exaggeration. A lot of those stories involved the hero's tale. Mm-hmm. Why? Because those were entertaining to hear about. Yeah. But within the hero's tale, yeah. what they would have is lessons of courage, yeah. lessons of whatever it is. So yes, is all of this entertainment... Of course it is. There's a huge part of it. But you do come to the channel and you do get to learn things every now and then. Mm-hmm. Or you get reminded about virtues that you might appreciate. But I'm not going to sit here and pretend like a lot of these videos are that. No. All of this stuff here, there is a huge element of entertainment. We come here. You guys want to see these updates. Why? Because you guys are invested in this story. Facts. You guys were here for the beginning. Yes. You guys didn't even know you were watching a prequel. Yes. Then all of a sudden it turned into a trilogy. And now there's a whole franchise with spinoffs and different characters in the universe from Donovan Sharp to Rolo to Sneeko to Destiny. Oh and- my gosh. Yo, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautifully put. That is a good way. Like, this has low-key become like an MCU type of universe at this point because that is a fantastic point. Because of this entire debacle with Fresh and Fit, a lot more content has come out of this one situation and just, like, started branching off into different things from Donovan Sharp to Sneeko to people to, to the whatever podcast. Like, there are so many different, like, branches that we talked about because of this one situation and it's introduced us into a lot of silly shit that we could laugh and talk about and even sometimes give like different perspectives on as well so that is a that's a fantastic point i agree i agree his it wife, also even introduced me to destiny yes yes it's true all these people are involved x yes so knowing that it's not abnormal. I think when people come to online stuff, they think like, I, I want to learn or I want to. That's not what we about. We about entertain. We right. Just, oh. There's I mean, nothing wrong with it. a couple of things. Yeah. But we entertainment. And also maybe this season of Abba and Priest is not for you. That's okay too. That's okay. Abba, you know, the stuff is too stale. Take a break. Come back later. Or oh, never come back. That's okay. That's what happened to me on WWE. At some point I was like, mm, it's yeah. not for me no more. Exactly. Took a, pro- took a break, came back. It was fire. Uh, but, you know, all these channels got to stop pretending like everyone's got the most insightful things to say. Like, it's hard to be insightful when you upload it four or five times a week. You, if you up- Dog, he could not have said that. Oh, my gosh. That is so true. Guys, you don't understand how hard it is to upload this much every week 
to upload the, the amount of times that I up. Yes, it is hard to be insightful. That is why I like reacting to the fun stuff, like the pop the balloon videos. They are fun. I don't necessarily have to be insightful. I'm just literally talking about what's in front of me. I don't have to give some grandiose speech. Like, we just having fun. At the end of the day, this is all about entertainment. Yes, I. this is what I want this channel to be. Similar to Ab, Ab and Preach, like, I want to entertain you guys at the end of the day. Yes, it was. I cannot imagine being insightful in my videos 24 7. That sounds exhausting. Jesus. Like, I also want you guys to just enjoy yourselves, you know? Uploading and making content that often, you don't even have enough time to think enough insightful. No. Things. No, 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 so, no. Let's be honest with yourself. A lot of this stuff is repetitive and it is entertaining, but that's what we're looking for when we online. Yeah. And if you're not looking for that, that's so. Let us know what you guys think in the comments. That's a, again. That is a fantastic point. Um, yeah, just like them, I really just aim to entertain you guys. And I kind of like how he equated like this time in his channel as like it being a season, uh, essentially. Like right now, they're laughing at Fresh and Fit. Then something else is going to come around and they're going to focus on that. Like it's just we are constantly going to be doing different things, right? Just like how I'm constantly going to be doing uh, different things. Like I am going to stream more. I am going to game more. I'm still going to be doing this, but I'm also going to make more vlogs. Like I'm going to be vlogging this fall like a lot. I'm going places a lot. I'm just going to be making different type of content in general. Um, the end goal is is the same. It is just to entertain you guys in general. So by reading some of the comments, it is apparent that some of you think that I don't understand that a large portion of my following has come from fresh and fit videos. You think I care? You think I care? But let me tell you why I don't care. And let me tell you why I, I think it's dope, right? First of all, we're all laughing at, at them at the same time. But what's dope about this is you guys, I said this at the beginning of the video, you guys click on these videos and you say, oh man, this guy is, is funny. He thinks similar to how I think. Let me check out his other content. Like I said before, you guys have been checking out a lot of my older content because of my fresh and fit videos. And I've been getting a lot of new subscribers that are sticking around and watching my other content as well so like i appreciate it and you guys like the fresh and vet videos because they're entertaining again that is all this is this channel is specifically about entertainment and i am going to feed my fan base with entertainment if they want me to talk about fresh and fit right now guess what we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about fresh and fit not to say that we're not gonna talk about anything else because you guys see my channel you obviously see that i talk about a numerous amount of different things obviously but yeah i'm feeding my fan base and it's working and i'm not gonna lie i am getting my biggest youtube check in october am i gonna tell you what that is no but i appreciate you for clicking on the videos and watching them and supporting me thank you i appreciate that you guys super chatting um during the live streams like i appreciate you guys more than what you probably even understand like i appreciate you there is one thing that i want to address though because I, again i want you guys to know i read the comments you guys can tell that i read the comments there is this constant comment that i get from fresh and fit fans basically saying oh you need to make these videos to make money you need to do this the only reason why you making fresh and fit videos is because you're making money off of them yeah partly would you think I'm gonna deny that? Yeah, that's that's partly true. Again, referring back to my Q and A, one thing that I said about Fresh and Fit, um, and just the red pill in general, I wanted to give a different perspective, a perspective from a normal guy who is married, who has a nine to five, but is also making content. I wanted to provide a different perspective that wasn't brickle Miami, right? But also, you guys like it, you guys watch it and it has been making me money so why would i not do it it doesn't make any sense for me and you think i have any shame in that no like at the end of the day again my goal is to entertain you all and if i'm being honest here i'm not this is not me shading anybody this is not me talking crap about anybody but there are smaller channels than my channel who also cover fresh and fit but they can't even crack like 1000 views this is not a guarantee just because you talk about fresh and fit that doesn't necessarily mean that you're just going to get thousands and thousands of views no that's not true at all actually now why that is i'm not sure i don't know if it's the formatting of my videos my personality my humor i don't know but not everybody gets the same amount of views as i do just because they make a fresh just because they make fresh and fit videos hell I don't get the same amount of views as bigger 
content creators that talk about fresh and fit i don't get the same amount of views a video that does extremely well for me is is cracking fifty thousand views right a video a fresh and fit video that's doing great is 20k a video that's doing okay for me is 10k yeah just wanted to add that in there because talking about them is, is not guaranteed viewership and guaranteed money just wanted to throw that out there and screw it i'll take a page out of abba and preach's book if this video gets 200 likes i'll make another fresh and fit video but anyway i rambled long enough guys let me know what you think in the comments down below do you agree with anything that i said do you disagree please do be fair let me know in the comments down below join the stream tonight man i will be going live around 6 45 p.m eastern standard time make sure that you guys pull up we are playing castlevania symphony of the night pull up to twitch i will also post on my um on my community page just to remind you guys as well and do not forget to share like and subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms they'll be linked in the description down below join the discord as well i will see you guys in the next video peace